All right, we are here with St. Olaf after the OEs fell in, in penalty kicks to UW Superior after a 2-2 two two tie in the second round of the 2024 NCAA Division III Men's Soccer Championship. We've had Coach Justin Oliver and Senior Shea Bechtel. Coach, we'll just start with an opening statement from, from you on the game today. Uh, I mean, first things, congratulations to Superior and Joe Mooney. Uh, very much so a deserved performance from them. They came out in the second half and just kind of were taking it to us physically, winning first, seconds, and thirds. Uh, just kind of got out competed for stretches of time and they got one five six seven minutes after halftime got another one five six seven minutes after that um and then momentum is just a crazy thing couldn't really get it going they were super organized very hard to very hard to break down we got stuck going a little bit too vertical at times um and again just tons of credit to them they they put together a performance that was that was worthy of, of honestly winning the game in regulation time uh, Shea gave us a second chance at life by giving us the, the late equalizer and sending us to overtime. But in the grand scheme of things, our performance today just wasn't good enough. It falls short of our standards. I could have done things better today as a coach. Uh, I'm sure the guys feel like we could have done a little bit more. So um, again, grand scheme of things, big credit to them. They deserved it. Um, they took some great chances. Uh, their keeper was great today, claiming all set pieces and long throw-ins. Uh, they just they did a really good job from from back to front consistently, so they were they were deserved winners. That's for sure. Shea was kind of a game like Justin said that had a couple of swings in it, and probably the biggest of them being your goal at the end of regulation. Just talk about that moment and walk us through that goal. Yeah, I mean, trailing the game, we were probably down for like thirty five minutes. I think they scored goals pretty early in the second half and. As time winds down, obviously we we still have belief, but then there's also always the the voice in the back of your head saying like chance might not come. Um, and as Dimitri likes to he likes to come down his right, and so I figured he was going to cross it. Um, I initially thought the ball was coming to me, and then out of nowhere, uh, Kamani made a good play to get in front of the defender. And as he flicked it on, I knew it would would be going towards the goal. So um, as it bounced, I just uh, I knew um, from earlier in the game that their goalie likes to come out on 50-50 balls, so just touched around him and finished it. Um, so yeah, that gave gave us life. I thought maybe there was there was some momentum to maybe go and win it um, in the rest of regulation and overtime, but it wasn't meant to be. And Justin, just talk about it. not only Shea but but the class that has six conference championships and national championship like they've done. Oh, they've I done mean, everything. These guys, these guys are special. They've rewritten history here um like you alluded to three Mayak regular season championships three Mayak postseason championships uh i think like an 11 one and two record in the ncaa tournament um they have had a just a lasting impact with just results but the thing that nobody else gets to see just what they did to our culture and our team and our environment they uh they're a special special group and the last competitive season that they they got to see as freshmen uh are we were coming off of a nine and nine season technically speaking so they backed themselves they came in here and they built everything from the ground up so just huge congratulations to to shay uh to peter to joe to holtzy to clemente our manager alex felix um just six guys that i got so much love and and respect for and i'm so thankful and so blessed to have to have gotten to coach them um so yeah, just they did some special things, and now it's our job to to continue to carry the flag and do things that make them proud to be only soccer alums. Yeah, Shay, kind of similar question for you. What's it been like to be such a big part of, of so much success? I know it's fresh, but just... yeah, I mean it's it's been a blessing. Um, obviously, when when I was being recruited by Travis when I was like literally freshman in high school, but um, he was a. Uh, he came into St. Olaf and I had no idea what St. Olaf was, no, I, no idea where it was. I remember asking my dad, he was like, um, you should check your email, Travis from St. Olaf emailed you and I said, why would I ever go to school in Minnesota? Um, it was nothing, definitely not anything on my radar, but I think Justin mentioned it, we, the only thing I had to base it was like a 5-14 and 14 record and then like a 9-9 nine and nine season on my commitment, but um, knowing Travis and then also as I got to know Justin as he was originally the assistant coach, I think there was a lot of belief um, in the program and a lot of the guys committing the senior class before us with guys um, like Casey, Hakeem, Victor all bought in a lot to what to what we wanted to do and so following in their footsteps I think a lot of our guys, me, Pete, Joe, Holtz, um, 
even Clemente and Alex all bought in um, to something that was being built. And it's just, it's really a blessing for me to have been able to be a part of something that was built and did reach the pinnacle and then um, a group that still has lots to build on. So just everything's been a blessing for me here. All right, thank you guys. Thank you.